We're looking at live pictures in Edmonton where Pope Francis is addressing tens of thousands of people at a football stadium. Let's listen in. Jesus came to know his older relatives and experienced their clo the closeness, tender love, and wisdom of his grandparents. Let us think about our own grandparents and reflect on two important things. El primero. First, Somos hijos de we una are children que que of a history that needs to be preserved. No we are not isolated no individuals, islands. No one comes into this world demás. detached from others. Our roots, the love that awaited us and welcomed us into the world, the families in which we grew up, are part of a unique history that preceded us and gave us life. We did not choose that history. We received it as a gift, one that we are called to cherish. For, as the book of Sirach reminds us, we are descendants of those who went before us. We are their inheritance, an inheritance that, quite apart from any claim to prestige or authority, intelligence or creativity, in song or poetry, is centered on righteousness, on fidelity to God and his will. This is what they passed on to us in order to accept who we really are and how precious we are, we need to accept as part of ourselves the men and women from whom we are descended. They did not simply think about themselves, but passed on to us the treasure of life. We are here thanks to our parents but also thanks to our grandparents who helped us feel welcome in the world. Often, they were the ones who loved us unconditionally without expecting anything back. They took us by the hand when we were afraid, reassured us in the dark of night, encouraged us when, in the full light of day, we faced important life decisions. Thanks to our grandparents, we received a caress from the history that preceded us. We learned that goodness, tender love, and wisdom are the solid roots of humanity. It was in our grandparents' homes that many of us breathed in the fragrance of the gospel, the strength of a faith which makes us feel at home. Thanks to them, we discovered that kind of familiar faith, because that is how faith is fundamentally passed on, at home, through affection and encouragement, care and closeness. First of all, we are children of a history that needs to be preserved. We are not isolated individuals nor islands. No one comes into this world detached from others. Our roots the love that awaited us and welcomed us into the world, the families in which we grew up, are part of a unique history that preceded us and gave us life. We did not choose that history. We received it as a gift, one that we are called to cherish. For as the book of Sirach reminds us, we are descendants of those who went before us. We are their inheritance. An inheritance that quite apart from any claim to prestige or authority, intelligence or creativity in song or poetry is centered on righteousness, 
on fidelity to God and His will. This is what they passed on to us in order to accept who we really are and how precious we are, we need to accept. We need to accept as part of ourselves the men and women from whom we are descended. They did not simply think about themselves, but passed on to us the treasure of life. We are here thanks to our parents, but also thanks to our grandparents, who helped us feel welcome in the world. Often, they were the ones who loved us unconditionally, without expecting anything back. They took us by the hand when we were afraid, reassured us in the dark of night, encouraged us when, when in the full light of day we faced important life decisions. Thanks to our grandparents, we received a caress from the history that preceded us. We learned that goodness, tender love, and wisdom are the solid roots of humanity. It was in the homes of our grandparents that many of us breathed in the fragrance of the gospel, the strength of a faith which, ma which makes us feel at home. Thanks to them, we discovered that kind of familiar faith, a domestic faith because that is how faith is fundamentally passed on in the mother tongue, in dialect. It is passed on at home through affection and encouragement, care and closeness. This is our history, to which we are heirs and which we are called to preserve we are children because we are grandchildren. Our grandparents left a unique mark on us by their way of living. They gave us dignity and confidence in ourselves and others. They bestowed on us something that can never be taken from us, and that, at the same time, allows us to be unique, original, and free. From our grandparents, we learned that love is never forced. It never deprives others of their interior freedom. That is the way Joachim and Anne loved Mary and Jesus. And that is how Mary loved Jesus, with a love that never smothered him or held him back but accompanied him in embracing the mission for which he had come into the world. Let us try to learn this as individuals and as a church. May we learn never to pressure the consciences of others, never to restrict the freedom of those around us, and, above all, never to fail in loving and respecting those who preceded us and are entrusted to our care for they are a precious treasure that preserves a history greater than themselves. This is our history to which we are heirs and which we are called Okay, pa Pope Francis is celebrating Mass at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton as part of his cross-country visit.